Hey everybody, this is Eric with The Dramatic. We are here in The Dramatic. Uh, <laughs> um, I wanted to um, make a little video for you about how to make a drum cover on a budget. If you're like me, money's an issue. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about that. Maybe it helps you out. Uh, I wanted to do this in between uh, the last drum cover and the new drum cover that's coming soon. Sweet child of mine. That'll be fun. So anyway, so the first thing that I want to talk to you about real quick is just song selection. Pick a song that you really enjoy, that you're passionate about, that you like playing. It, um, it doesn't have to be difficult. It, it, it doesn't have to be this complicated, you know, kind of, kind of thing. Play to your strengths. Um, I'm a meat and potatoes kind of drummer, so that's the kind of stuff that I pick. Um, I, I try to pick stuff that will stretch me a little bit, allow me to grow, uh, but that I know I can but, but in, in, in uh, manageable increments. So, so do that. And then when you, when you pick a song, um, there's lots of ways to do this. I've, um, I used to just play along with songs forever, just when I would practice. Um, and then I discovered, <laughs> and you probably already know these are out there, uh, people are putting drumless tracks out on YouTube, pull them down, use those, know that you can't monetize um, your drum cover video if you're using copyrighted music, that's a, that's a thing, um, and that's okay. Uh, so those are available to you. You can also use royalty-free music um, for other projects. I like to use audio blocks. It's a, a yearly subscription, but um, there's a lot of really cool stuff on there. Um, there's other places that you can go to. Just Google it, uh, royalty-free music, and you can find some stuff there. You can make your own music. I'm using drumless tracks that I've pulled from um, YouTube and sources like that. Um, and that, that works for me right now. That's super fun. So when you decide on a song, color it with your own musical personality. Don't just get locked into what the drummer on the, the original track was playing. Use that as a template and then make it your own. Be creative, have some fun with it, okay? But still let the music breathe. Um, you say as much with the, the spaces in between as you do with the notes. So let the music breathe. Okay, you're also gonna want to be able to record some decent audio. Now, if we wanna mic up our whole kit with kick and snare and a mic on each tom and the hi-hat and two overheads, that can start to get expensive because uh, then that gets into like um, expensive software to, to edit and stuff and there's some good stuff out there. Maybe you can afford that stuff and that's great. You can certainly have a lot more control if you can. I'm just running a three mic setup here. I've got a kick drum on my mic and I've, I've typed down what, um, what those things are because I don't remember the tech specs. So here they are. I paid $30 for uh, my kick drum mic. It's not amazing, but I'm actually getting a really good sound out of it. It is a Heimu, Heimu, H-E-I-M-U, um, based your microphone on Amazon, $27.99 I think is what it is. So um, that's really easy. My overhead, my overhead mics are MXL 770 mics, uh, 60 bucks each on Amazon. So when I've got stands on those and those two sit overhead on my kit and um, I feel like I'm getting pretty good uh, pretty good tone out of out of these three things. So I'm running them all into a, a Behringer uh, USB interface and that is the um, UMC 404HD. Uh, I think it, it ran me like $130 or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so. So this is an inexpensive option to do it this way. And then I'm recording everything through GarageBand. So I have EQ controls and balance controls there. I'm not smart enough to, uh, to deal with something like Audition or Pro Tools. So this gives me enough control that I can control some of that stuff. And I didn't have to spend a lot of money on software <clears throat> or on tons of mics. Not that I wouldn't do it with a bunch of mics, but my budget doesn't allow me to do that right now. But maybe you're saying, I don't even have money for those, those three mics. That's okay too. Uh, for a little over a hundred dollars, I think you can get a like a Tascam DR40, um, which is a, <clears throat> a self-contained recording device. So the microphones on there do pretty good with the sound too. I've, I've recorded uh, with those before in the past um, to experiment, not too shabby. So that's another option. <clears throat> Maybe all you have is um, is just a, a microphone to pop on your phone. Um, as long as the audio is not distorting and we can hear clear delineation between the snare and the toms and the kick, 
cymbals and the high end stuff, and it's just not all muddy, distorted sound. You should be good. The important thing is, is that you're just you're just doing it. Okay, the next thing you're gonna need is a, a, a something to record visually. Um, my wife and I have a, a small uh, media production company, so we've kind of stockpiled some different cam some cameras over the years. Some some different. Some most of them are the same, but um, so we have that uh, working for us. Um, but before you do that, I would go and I would watch I would watch a bunch of drum covers and just kind of see what shots you like, which ones you find engaging, and then um, put your own spin on those on those shots. Right? Is there a moving shot? Is you know, is there a cool shot between, like, the under the ride symbol looking up at the drummer? Find what you like and, and then figure out how to make that work. Now, we're shooting with um, three Canon T5Is, um, and in the last video was shot with those, and a GoPro Hero 6 on a Karma Grip. Um, also, none of these people pay me. I'm just telling you what we're, <laughs> what we're using for your information. Uh, the next time around, I've got some old Hero 3s and I'm gonna experiment with those too. Maybe you just have your phone. Man, just get a good shot um, where we can see what's what's being played and, um, and then make sure you have a way to sync that up with the audio. S counting in with the sticks is, is great. If you don't wanna hear that, you can just kinda clap at the beginning of the audio so you have it on your audio recording and on your video recording and then you can have a nice easy place to sync those up. But if you don't have several cameras, just use your phone, your Android, your iPhone, whatever. You can, real cheap on Amazon, you can buy a, a little, not a tripod, but a little mount for a tripod and they just throw it up. Let us see what, let us see what you're doing. Uh, we all like to be part of each other's journey. It's super cool. Maybe your friend will let you borrow one of their phones and you get two things. Then you got two angles and all of a sudden it's really cool. Point is you don't have to have expensive cameras or real expensive audio to do it. Just um, just do it, man. Nobody's going to ask for you to do it. Um, nobody asked for me to do it, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm just doing it because I love it. I think it's fun. So, um, man, just do what you're passionate about. Easy audio, easy easy camera. It doesn't have to be super fancy. And then as time goes on, maybe you can save up money and you can get better cameras, better audio, whatever. But just start doing, doing something. I would say that your audio would be the most important thing. If you can get decent audio, with, there's several guys out there that aren't using tons of mics, and they're getting great audio. I think here in the Dramatic with our three mic setup, we're getting fantastic audio, um, and so so it doesn't take take a lot as long as, like I said, it's not muddy, um, and as long as you've got a clear picture and we can see what you're playing, and it's not like the top of the bass drum in your kneecaps. You know, we want to see <laughs> we want to see you, want to see what your hands are doing, where they're moving around the drum kit. Okay, the last thing you're going to need is some kind of editing software. Um, with our production company, we subscribe to the Adobe Creative Cloud, so we're using Premiere, uh, Premiere Pro to edit all of our footage together. Um, but if you're using a Mac, I believe that iMovie still comes standard on that or on your phone. Um, you don't have as much control, but you can certainly cut, paste stuff together, create a little intro, a little outro, and then we got your drum stuff. So it should be pretty easy to do. I know there's lots of little free kind of video editing softwares out there, and um, and there's um, there's inexpensive ones as well, as well as really expensive ones. Um, and also, if you can get it all in one take, and if you're just using one camera, then then you just need something that'll allow you to sync the audio with it. And, and iMovie or anything free out there should be should be good. Well, listen, here's the deal. I hope that um, my little bit of information was helpful for you. Um, I'm pretty new to this. I've just been watching drum covers for a long time and have been playing since I was 12, but I'm just jumping into trying to do these drum covers and so I've done some research. Uh, I did a lot of experimenting for like a year before I recorded the first one. Uh, so take your time, don't, don't rush um, what you're doing. But the most important thing is, is that you have fun with it. Um, I'm gonna post in the description below Amazon links to some of the gear that I'm using here. Um, <clears throat> none of these people have paid me to do this again. Like I said, I'm just I'm just uh, sharing with you what's working for us, and we're going to keep experimenting and exploring and seeing what what we can see visually and how we can hear it audibly. So um, again, just little tips and tricks. You can keep it real simple. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to uh, subscribe, turn the little notification bell on, 
like it, share it, comment below. Um, we get it. We want to do more videos like this that hopefully are, are informative and helpful for you, and um, more, more, more drum covers. Okay, so. Um, thank you so much and take care. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.